must eventually cross. And as two of the greatest fighters in the UFC kept dominating their opposition, it was inevitable that this moment would come. When the octagon door closes for tonight's super fight, the talk will be over. And the entire sports world will come to a halt. This is no ordinary fight. It's a battle between two champions, willing to put their own divisional crowns on the line to prove themselves worthy to be on top. And when the dust settles, there can only be one winner a king with two crowns. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. event of the evening. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you all Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's who is the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record on 26 wins, 6 losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting on a Boca Raton, Bologna, presenting the challenger, Anthony Rumble Johnson! And now introducing the champion, fighting at the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter. Holding a professional record on 23 wins, no losses. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting St. Petersburg, Russia. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Nirvana Mano!
All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. You know, a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch gloves, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title on the line. Oh, oh it should be good. Oh, straight right. knockout here early in the first. Yeah, Joe, that was the perfect shot right there. We didn't even get a feeling out process here tonight, and we say it all the time. Sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly had a huge impact here tonight as he gets the win by first round KO. And here's the end. Let's see it one more time from a different angle. Look at the power in this left as it shuts the lights out. Check out this angle here. Boom! And he's out. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliante has called a stop to this contest at 27 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner, So the celebration...